guys, welcome back to Crypto Talk Today, where we talk about all things crypto. We talk about it all day and all night. So we've got a good show for you today. Let's go jump over here and take a look at the screen and what we've got. I want you guys to comment below, by the way. Comment below and tell me what is your crypto that you're most bullish on. Comment below in the comment section. And just so you know, we have a nice giveaway program. We're going to let our channel really take off here and start to grow. But we're going to do our first giveaway. So we are going to give away $100, 100 US dollars in Bitcoin. The way you become eligible for the giveaway is you have to comment below. That's your entry by commenting below in this video. And once this video has 500 likes, at whatever point that is, we will randomly select with a computer program your comment. Whoever's comment wins will be announced on a future video. And then we will send $100 in Bitcoin to your wallet. So let's jump over here to the screen. Let's jump over to Crypto Bubbles real quick. Just get my screen here. Okay, so we can see what's going on today. And you can see the sandbox. This is one to keep your eyes on, guys. This is one that I think is going to be involved in the metaverse for sure. I think that this is something that is going to be a continue to be a good game and it might be something that maybe Facebook wants to partner with. Who knows? We'll have to take a look and see down the road. And LRC is something that I'm not as familiar with, Loopring, but it's doing well today. I need to do some more research on that. It's not something that I personally hold. So you can see Engine, another game in crypto is up a little bit today, 7.5%. Let's jump over here to CoinMarketCap and let's take a look at some of the top 100. You've got Bitcoin, of course, just treading water a little bit, still up over 60,000. Ethereum, still treading water, but nice, up over 4,300. Binance, up about 3%. Cardano, Cardano still being a little weak. Cardano just isn't moving. It's a good solid project, but it's just kind of frustrating a lot of people right now. Polkadot is doing really well today, up 13%. Shiba Inu had a nice bounce back, up 6%. Dogecoin down 2%. Crypto in the news, guys. Burger King offers free crypto, putting Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum on the menu. This is from Fortune.com. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be giving away, uh, they're going to have a contest, and they're going to give away uh, free crypto, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum. Basically, it's for some of their uh, promotional things. The promotion begins and runs through November 21st or until the crypto supply is exhausted. Burger King has partnered with Robinhood to give away Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin to members of its Royal Perks loyalty program when they spend $5 on the restaurant's app. Now, I would think right now when, when Robinhood is looking at their balance sheets, they're probably getting a little bit scared because their revenue is dropping and they might regret not listing Shiba Inu sooner. I think this is what it sounds like when they're looking at their balance sheets right now. Ah! It's kind of scary if you're an executive over Robinhood right now. So going over here, this is over on buybitcoinworldwide.com. Who accepts Bitcoin? 11 major companies. This was back in September they posted this. Microsoft's been doing a long time since 2014. Overstock, Home Depot, Namecheap, Starbucks, Whole Foods, Newegg, Tesla, <clears throat> kind of. Lolly, by the way, there's some uh, reports. I don't have confirmation, but it looks like Tesla may be. We need to confirm it and make sure that it's not something that um, is you know, a hoax or something like that. But it looks like that Tesla might be in the future accepting Shiba Inu. That's really cool for those of us that hold Shiba Inu. Going over to this article, <clears throat> staying on the Facebook scene, excuse me. You don't change your name to Meta if you think anyone can stop you. This is from the slate.com. Facebook rebranding isn't a PR move, it's a vision. So again, Facebook is very forward thinking. They think that this is gonna be the future. There's going to be a virtual online world and they want to be a big part of that. And this is really going to help the crypto industry as a whole. 
We are very early on this, guys. We're a part of the 4% that's in crypto. So let's scan up here. This is from time.com. The future of cryptocurrency, five experts predict predictions after a breakthrough 2021. I really think this is the year that crypto is going to break more into the mainstream and especially carrying over into 2022. So they're talking about cryptocurrency regulation. They're talking about the crypto e ETF approval. That was for Bitcoin. Broader institutional cryptocurrency adoption. Companies like AMC, for example, this is huge. They're going to accept payments. Bitcoin's future outlook. The future of cryptocurrency. We can speculate on what value cryptocurrency may have for investors in the coming months and years, and many will. But the reality is it's still new and speculative investment without much history to which to base predictions. No matter what a given expert thinks or says, no one really knows. That's why it's important to only invest what you're prepared to lose and stick to more conventional investments for long-term wealth building. So this is kind of the reason why I wanted to read you this part here. This is kind of the sentiment out there for those that are not involved in crypto. Um, it is a very risky space to be in, but as more and more it starts to get adopted, it starts to become more mainstream, you're going to see things in the future in terms of growth that we haven't even seen before. So we're in the middle of a four-year cycle for the bull run that has to do with Bitcoin's halving and, so, and whatnot. We might not see such a drastic drop in the future in terms of the bear cycles with more and more mainstream adoption coming on board. Now, this is a coin I wanted to talk to you about, guys. It's not a dog meme coin. It could, well, not really be considered a cat meme coin either, but it's actually cat girl. This is something that's a high risk, high reward, guys. Do your own due diligence. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. This is something that I just picked up maybe three or four days ago, and I am so glad that I did because today it had a really nice spike. It basically killed off a zero today, and it went up to 2284 at around 4.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the daily chart. Here's a seven-day chart. You can see the spike that happened here today. So coming up here, this number right here was a two, and then it pulled back. But look, it's still up. Let's refresh the screen. It's still up over 66, almost 67% today, guys. So that's one that you want to take a look at. And let's go over here and jump and see the number of holders there are for Catgirl. So we've got 119,000 holders. That's pretty strong for something that's relatively new. So this is something that you might want to think about. That's it for today's show, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below so you can be part of that giveaway for $100 of Bitcoin. The winner will be announced eventually on Twitter. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.